Good morning from Mshopi campsite in Makuze. We stopped for a while to see what this lone monkey was unhappy about. We suspect that he lost his troop and is trying to find them again. Good morning from a very cold and wet Makuze. We came all the way to a picnic site when we got here, it was raining. So we couldn't brew our coffee in Bruno. So <laughs> we were sitting in the car with our plunger quickly getting some filter coffee to get our coffee fixed this morning. Haven't had it yet. And then we'll have some rusks and continue on our journey. Yeah. But it's a, it's a cold and wet morning for Natal, mm -hmm. but apparently the weather should turn this afternoon. That would uh, be great. And, uh, and tomorrow, because uh, I think like most of us know, it's not lucky to pack up a wet tent. No, it's never nice to pack up a wet so tent. hopefully the, the weather can turn. at one of the hides again today um, but I must say it's not the best weather to come to the bird hides we are on the water and the water is pretty choppy today the weather is not great keeps on drizzling and the wind is blowing but it's still a beautiful day in the bush <laughs> not the best weather but still a good day in the bush eh Rex? yeah it's always a good day <laughs> Thank you. 
we stopped to capture this beautiful jacana that was very close to the road. Another jacana started calling on the other side of the road and he crossed the little bridge right in front of our car to go and find his girl. We stopped quite a way down the road and enjoyed watching them interact. We spent about 30 minutes watching them when back at camp after a lovely morning drive miserable weather but saw nice birds and a nice illy except they weren't so nice after one of the vehicles of a game ranger chased them away i would also be angry though if i got chased like that um, it was around the corner so i don't think the game ranger saw us coming and he didn't realize he was chasing the elephant towards us so he afterwards he said he's sorry but um yeah oh, it's okay but i would also be angry if i was the Ellie and somebody chased me away like that so far after that we sat about 15 minutes yeah we just sat because it was um around a tight corner and we didn't know where the Ellie's went so we were like um let's just wait a little bit for the first car to come past and we know it's clear <laughs> then we can go past again um good job it was lovely going to sit around camp a while and play a game of azul for those that don't know it it's very cool it's a very nice game and yeah just enjoy a relaxed afternoon yeah hoping for the sun to come out soon oh that would be great but apparently they're forecasting that it's going to be sunny the one thing Riggs, we chose a camp spot that is beautifully nestled in between the bushes it's 
got trees surrounded it's very tranquil reminds me a lot about of Tenze very very nice but what did, we did not expect like we thought this is the perfect campsite for December heat in KwaZulu-Natal and then we didn't expect two days straight rain um, but it's okay I hope they're forecasting nice weather for the next two days so then we're going to be very happy with this camp spot yeah but anyway let's play a game let me quickly beat you and then we continue <laughs> humble as always <laughs> after our game Rikas went to find our resident red-chested cuckoo and made it his mission to capture his call So we're on our way on an afternoon drive and it's very cold actually. Uh, so Stacey's making us uh, a cup of uh, Amarula coffee. And uh, I think you guys have seen my white Stanley flask. Absolutely lovely. Stacey gave it to me for my birthday and uh, with a name on and everything. And I, I know she loves, absolutely loves the white Stanley uh, flasks. So I've decided literally, I've, I've driven all over Bloemfontein and I found the last one. Uh, for uh, for her birthday. Her birthday is only in a week's time, but uh, I'm gonna give it to her. Gonna give it to her now. So I think she's gonna love it. Happy early birthday to you. Happy early birthday to you. <laughs> Happy early birthday to you. Aww. Happy early birthday <laughs> to you. Couldn't you hold out any longer, Riggs? No. Thank you. I got this. For Rikas for his birthday this year <laughs> and I've been very jealous of it and I don't think my birthday is only in a week's time eight days no eight days time eight days Rick so you couldn't hold out any longer no <laughs> thank you now I can luckily use it for no, the eight days exactly. to come thank you because we leave the day so after cool. your birthday so <laughs> thank you Rick nope We are here at Etaleni picnic site just outside Mantuma camp um, but really such a stunning picnic site not much just two little benches um, but I mean it's beautifully maintained really I must say the maintenance here at Makuzi is really amazing well done to the maintenance staff they've really outdone themselves like our grass at the camp has also been cut out bathrooms are in beautiful shape and we have been the only two people the last two days at the campsite and is really beautifully maintained so really well done but yeah very bushy around yeah i wonder what things are hiding away in the bushes yeah Riggs. i'm staring at us <laughs> how's that amarula coffee strong sorry i made it a bit strong it's more amarula than coffee
After a lovely drive, we decided to take a walk around camp. This is Mshopi campsite at Makuze. It has a generator that while we were here runs from 5 to 10 every evening. It has two beautifully clean and well-maintained bathrooms at each end of the camp that both have gas geysers. The campsites themselves are so tranquil and everyone has at least one tree for some shade. They also are very big and spacious. There is a little playground for kids, which looks like it's recently seen some renovations. There is a pool at Mshobi, but unfortunately it is out of order at the moment. Hopefully it will get some renovations soon as well. There is also a broken down building at Mshopi that we are not really sure what it is or was. The camp is a fenced camp, but it has a road that runs right through it and there are no gates that close the road. So you still need to be wary of any animals that might find their way into camp. Lucas and I are just taking a little walk through camp and Yo, we are the only people in camp tonight. Last night we were also the only people in camp. And I just can't understand how it's not busy in December. It's, we are the only people, the, the fir, our first night here, there was one other family camping. And I just don't understand it. It's so, so beautiful. I, I really don't understand. Hey, Rix. That's oh, lovely. It's so beautiful. The campsites are honestly better than the Kruger. Yeah. Than Kruger's. They are in absolute immaculate. I think in terms of amenities, we actually have the worst campsite, to be honest, that we chose. Because <laughs> we don't have... Each campsite has a tap. Yeah. Uh, almost everyone has, a, has like a, a concrete platform. Yes. And a, a bra in perfect condition. Grass, level. It's we just chose it because of the trees and all the birds. Yeah, we, we chose that campsite because of the trees and, and the, the birds. And the shade because we thought we are going to get hot and humid. <laughs> it was lacquer the first The first, now yeah, the but first now afternoon. Cold. Now it's cold. But it's beautiful, yeah. I, I really don't understand how it's not busy in December. I mean, this is school holidays. Usually places are like fully booked and we are the only people here tonight. Yeah, if you are in this area or want to come to this area, come to Makuzi. Like I, bird hides, roads, everything in beautiful condition. <laughs> the baboons think, <laughs> think that it's a beautiful campsite as well, Rex. Um, no, there's um, crances close by and the baboons roost and eat each evening or oh, not roost, go and go to sleep. I don't know, I'm not sure what baboons do, but they go to sleep and eat each evening. But I must say the baboons are very shy or scared of people. Yeah. Um, they walked in our camp earlier this afternoon and we just walked out and they ran away from us. So it's not like they disturb you in camp, cool, but just every evening you hear them round about this time you hear them in the crances and then they settle down and go to sleep as well so that's not an issue at, at night uh, but even if, if they did make noise at night it's actually not people making noise eh, Riggs? but anyway beautiful evening i really i'm i mean or in or in shock that it's so quiet and it's such a beautiful place maybe um makuza gets busy in winter because of the mangroves kingfisher that people will come far to see that is only yeah in the winter it's a winter migrant so maybe that's that's a reason but anyway rix let's go back and braai let's go braai a uh warthog sausage warthog sausage yeah and uh, I like a fresh ish. Fresh ish salad. <laughs> okay.
didn't make a nice sound like we used to it. No. Not the best calls. <laughs> but we try. Thank you for watching day 4 of our KZN trip. We had a great time birding. If we have misidentified anyone, please drop us a comment below. We added 3 new lifers to our bird list today, which brings our total up to 378. Please like and subscribe if you would like to stick around for the rest of our trip. We will see you in the next vlog. Ga je het afnemen? Ja. Ik zal het zo normaal als moeilijk laten lijken. Oké. Okay.